All right, so our boys are finally getting to know a little bit more about each other. Well, Thorfinn doesn't really care, but Einar is finally getting to learn more about Thorfinn. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we have Path of Blood and Vinland Saga today. I'm guessing Path of Blood referring to Thorfinn's sort of past that, like I said, Einar kind of learned about last episode, at least a, a portion of, a very short blink of, just from what he can tell him. Gonna hop into this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub, and let's get started. And not to mention, I think we got a little glimpse of um Mr. Canute at the end of the last one. And this is an army. Old? Old? This is definitely the person we saw at the end of the last one. Asklad? Oh, flashback. God. The fact that we're never gonna hear that man's voice again. Except in flashbacks. Oh. Oh man, his final moments. Okay, so this is definitely Canute that we're seeing in the present now. He's reminiscing. The fact that the king actually tried to offer him an out because he knew how just boned he was, how, how just desperate Askeladd was. Arthur. Arturius. God, dude. <laughs> so just like instant. Just insanity. <laughs> now, what of Canute? He leads an army. The army he inherited. Dane. Mm. They lost control of it? Because of King Swain's death. Yeah, things are thrown into the chaos. Mm. Suddenly the Danes are weak. Thorkel! Commanded the Danish Viking army. Okay. Ethelred II was reinstated in Normandy. So it's a war between Ethelred and Canute. Okay. Where's Harald in all of this? I'm guessing that's where we are now. Okay. Just Ethelred versus Canute and all their battles. That's Ethelred? No! So Canute's trying desperate things to take down Ethelred. So far as poisoning or sending poison out. Dude, is that him? Bro, he looks like he's matured. Oh, and the, wait, he's still his right hand man. That's insane. He was inherently like in the ear of King Swain. Surprised he trusts him. The heads on bikes. Gunner. <laughs> Looks just like his brother. Pillaging. Yeah. Oh. Oh. His own men. It's not a military custom he wants to instill. Okay, Canute. Oh my gosh. He is turning the ship around in a very different direction. He didn't want unnecessary violence. Ooh, Floki don't like that for sure. God, he looks so different. Yeah, Floki. Arrangements. Meet with them, okay. Earl Edric of Mercia. Mercia was the land that Swain was planning on having Canute just rule over as like a secondary option. It's him! It's him! Argyll! Yes! What is he doing? My dad! What is he doing? Oh my gosh, I missed him so much. Oh my gosh. Why is he so mad? Stops my battles. Why does he hate frogs so much? What's his gripe with them? So they honor the truce. Oh, so he made him stop. Stop killing and fighting. Oh. He wanted to just decimate it. So very clearly, Canute's leadership is opposing every everything that's been established. 
Yeah. Earl is okay. He's the leader of Mercy. So he's oh, okay. He's going to be with them. Ethelred's son Edmund is making disquieting moves. Mm. Just ride that meat, Floki. Yep. Guy's head. Oh my gosh, he cooked him. Said to you then. When? And who you'll become? And he's become a very specific person. He doesn't want war. And Canute never did. But he'll do what's necessary to achieve a peaceful land. Won't be able to avoid war. Mm. I think he knows that. Mm. As a king, or attempting to be a king. Don't you forget it. Uh, Canute knows Thorkel is a special case. He's like, he's right. Canute will always take constructive criticism and honesty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thorkel doesn't please. He doesn't need to. He's strong enough to just say what's on his mind. I love how we're checking in on this, though, because the entire season, we haven't known what Canute or anybody like Thorkel has been up to or Floki. That's a lot of treasure. Oh, it's an offer. A surrender offer, like a peace offering. Well, we'll really find out who Canute is now. Dangeld? Dangeld? Oh, like not enough? What? What? This is nothing. He's walking on it. Standing on all the money. Are you saying like the money means nothing? Oh no, he's going to get existential. Yes. Oh. Leave his own territory. Oh, he's reestablished that this is his land. He sees it as such. He said, I, yeah, this is nothing because money doesn't matter. This is his land. Damn! That's what he meant. Ethelred. And they, yeah, they clearly bow to Ethelred. Oh. Probably. If it meant Canoe went away. Oh. Folky's impressed. Very impressed. I'm impressed. Canute has never cared about wealth. Cares about one utopia. We need to exile during the previous war. Okay, I was, I was wondering how he ended up in exile. So he hid away when war started, and then whenever it's thrown into the chaos from Swain dying, he comes back out of the woodworks. Hmm. By making this offer. Ah, see, now he worms his way in. Like, he's like, oh, we can work on this together. <gasps> oh, that's how we ended up there. Wait, the poison. Well, that's his intention. Oh. Until the bitter end, he'll die fighting Canute. But Canute doesn't want that. But he knows what must be done. Shall we test it? Oh no. I probably almost saddens Canute. Dude, I love this so much. We're just seeing another part of the world. What's he gonna show him? He's gonna be like, look at the sun. By the time that bad boy goes all the way around, everything here is gone. It's Dunzo McBunzo. Unless we truce right now. Unless it's setting now. I think it's setting now. Well, that's what they were doing outside. They were making like a, a pyre. He was preparing this presentation in advance? Oh. Yeah, he was. He knew he would say no. An interactive presentation. Oh, one giant signal fire to attack. 
Oh no. Mercia will be his. Troops. Another. <gasps> They're everywhere. And maybe he's just showing him how, how, how like set up he is. How ready Canute is to just. No, it's too late. Oh, he's giving him another chance. Has been reduced to ash. It is too late. Oh my gosh. It's far too late. Oh my gosh. He literally can't say no to him. Dude, Canute is ruthless. Eye peace. Ooh. He never had an option. He said, oh, you said you'll fight to the better end? This is what the better end looks like. Are you sure you want that? Oh my gosh. It's interesting too, like the dynamic between Thorkel and Canute and how, how that's clashing. King Ethelred would die! He succeeded! Already! Canute is succeeding. Aggressively succeeding. Oh my gosh, he's gonna take the throne! Dude, I thought this... Oh, Edmund, his son? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be Edmund versus Canute. Oh, wait. In a hard-fought war, but... Are we speedrunning? He also... I... Bro, Canute's taking out everybody! I feel like all that will be left will be Harald, his brother. Where is Harald? Thorkel don't like it. Less than three. Oh, shoot. He made it. Oh, shoot. Canute will be king. Thorkel doesn't like who he's become. Mm. Dude, I thought this was gonna be like a season long thing. I'm like trying to see like the long timeline, but it's just like, nope. He he works way faster than his father ever did. Although his father was king, so he's trying to get to where his father was. Edmund did not last long at all. Unnatural deaths. Oh, shoot. It's showing that he didn't just straight up become king right after his father's death. It took a little bit and he, he made sure he took the appropriate actions. Now he has the facial hair. I see. So we had like a small flashback. Mm, very important though. Extremely important. And I'm glad we got that episode to know what was going on in the rest of the world. And sort of what happened following Swain's death. It's so, so important to get that sort of filled in. But it makes perfect sense. But I still feel like Harald will be sort of the opposition. Because I, I very faintly recall he was like way more ruthless and aggressive than when they mentioned him in season one. We've I think we've only gotten to see like a still of him. We've not never even actually like seen him like in action. But I wonder how much Canute is going to fit into this season because it feels like currently all the issues, problems, plot lines are sort of just locked into this one single farm. It's not really about armies and wars and everything. It's about Thorfinn sort of opening up again, following everything with Askeladd. And I think Anar's development alongside him. So I'm very, very curious how this will rope in if at all but i feel like it has to maybe we'll just get cuts back and forth back and forth and it'll slowly intertwine i don't know but either way a very very a, a banger episode important episode to say the least but guys that's been it for path of blood and it turned out to be canute's path to the throne drop a like on this one if you haven't already and i'll catch you next time peace peace